to Fallout Season 1, Episode 5, The Past. Everyone wants to save the world. I don't know what it is about this show, but I swear, like, these these episodes we're going to talk about tonight were really good. Really yeah. good. Yeah. And yet, still, I do not think about this show a single moment after I'm done watching it. <laughs> it's the weirdest well, thing. And so I'm always stuck here like, what happened in this episode? Oh, yeah. Okay, this is the episode where basically... Um, we we start off with with Thaddeus and um, Maximus and well Thaddeus learns the truth and then immediately is like fuck you yeah. <laughs> bye I'm still in the head and and Maximus who still doesn't understand the way his suit works get tra- gets trapped in his suits only for very conveniently Lucy to show up. <laughs> now we're getting started but it's just it's so funny to me like these are good episodes and yet i still there's it it doesn't linger with me nothing has lingered with me yeah well that's that's a fair thing to say and honestly i when i when the only time you know watch the episode and and i enjoy it and and you're right i mean this series has with each episode gets progressively better and but I don't think about them again until it's time for us to talk about them. And the thing that the through line for this episode for me was trust issues. And, and that, that was, that was sort of, that was my overall thought with, with what, like, as you noted from Thaddeus and, and, and Maximus there, Lucy and, and Carrie Maximus. And then of course the, in the, in the storyline going on in the vault itself with the election and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, okay. So if you're gonna sum it, um, sum it up in trust issues, my my thing would be, well, yeah, everyone should have a trust issue because Maximus is a liar. Okay, yeah. Maximus has been lying, and see, now we're getting to the root of my issue with Maximus. Mm. I need to understand why he's lying so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I need it to be a reason that I can sympathize with so that I can I can accept his lies as a viewer who's seen all sides of it. Because I'm just like, because for a moment, when when Lucy first shows up and helps him out, and then she immediately sees through his act, mm-hmm. which I'm like, thank you writers for not making Lucy look stupid. And then within the moment I said that, within that span of time, he she suddenly accepted another lie from him. <laughs> Like Jesus, <laughs> stop it. Yeah, well, you know she can't. Well, you, but I, you know that to that point though, I'm glad that that, that she still like still has that naivety from the vault. You know it, it, because even after all, I don't know if it was naivety because she saw she clearly understood that he was what he was going after yeah. too. It's exactly it, the same thing, but it was more that she thought in that instance. There was nothing else that, like, she thought she had won that mm. that little discourse, and that he wouldn't, he doesn't have anything else to withhold from her. Yeah. So I don't know if it was naive, naivety so much as just like, no, I called you on your bullshit, and she was like basking in that, and and didn't go go further or continue to have some yeah. of a guard. So maybe well, it's a mixture of both. Maybe it's a mixture of both. Yeah, I was gonna say it's, just, it's, it's still that lack of street smarts. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, but then again, I don't know how much street smarts Maximus has because the kid got locked in his suit. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's another issue too. But <laughs> locked in his suit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's he's not he's he's clearly not the sharpest uh, the knife in the drawer there for sure. Um, and he's not very street smart because I mean. I don't know, like, so here's where I was just like, whenever he opened up to Thaddeus. Uh-huh. I mean, I was just like, I, I mean, I get where the writers were going with that, but at the same time, I'm just like, why? I mean, uh, it did again, and maybe it gets back to my point, it's just the lack of street smarts. Like, this guy is brotherhood now, through and through. And you right. really think he's going to, like, this, as soon as you reveal who you are, and given that they have these rules about 
you know, as far as succession and knighthood and all that kind of stuff, that he's just going to be like, oh, cool, bro. Especially after you branded him. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's also Thaddeus is looking at him like as a squire. He's like, now I'm an accomplice. Yeah. And and you clearly haven't thought this through because I can appreciate how Thaddeus pointed out. Oh, what do you think is going to happen when they figure it out? And then Maximus yeah. clearly hasn't really thought that completely yeah. through. Exactly. And then suddenly you're like, okay, so Thaddeus, get out, get out while you can and yeah. claim innocence because if Thaddeus motivations totally make sense. And I guess the more you're, we're talking about this, I don't even know if it's a lack of street smarts. However, what they're doing with Maximus is making you view him as naive mm -hmm. as you do Lucy. Yeah. The difference, though, is Maximus is from the surface world, and we're supposed to believe all surface world people are smart. <laughs> in extent. Or, yeah. or are better, more understandable and yeah. have better survival instincts That's it. than those who come from the vault. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but they do make for a good pairing, even though even though Lucy tries to show that she knows how to how to like de de stress the situation. It only leads to Maximus getting shot, which I am so glad. <laughs> I watched that scene and I was just like, oh, wow. And then five minutes later, they're just walking away. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a second. Maximus clearly got shot. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We saw. Yeah. We saw the impact of blood flying out of his arm. Yeah. He. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but for, for a moment there, there was this gap of a period of time where I'm like, wait a second. Maximus got shot. Got what shot. happened here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's I'm glad they, that they they brought that back, and then that's yeah. what led them to going into the building, which they inadvertently end up in the happiest place on the earth, which is another vault. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But they'll also, to your point, yeah, one of the things we thought when as you were we were talking about surface folks, and you know, there's been hinting around the whole the whole shady sands issue. Oh, shady sands. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, you know, of course, and to your, you know, and, and really juxtaposing Lucy, you know, and the Vault 33 dwellers as far as their whole reclamation day. And then, you know, and, and, and Shady Sands being that, well, at least prior to the bomb getting dropped on it, you know, being that ideal world on, on the surface and Maximus coming, you know, coming from that world. So as a little boy, so because we you know we they keep flashing back to the scene of the brotherhood rescuing him out of out of the um refrigerator or whatever he was in that you know shielded him from the from the blast so you're right i mean i, I like the, like you said how both of them were sheltered in their own own way and now we're seeing how it manifested in itself um as they are you know, on this quest to find the head yep and while they are doing that on the surface world, meanwhile, Vault 33 Norm continues to investigate what happened in Vault 32 um, and figure out that they were trying to go get into Vault 31. There's an election day happening, which then he um, finds out has been rigged for centuries. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. same <laughs> number, just the same results, just a different winner every yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you want to rig an election, this is how you do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, and and it just and it leads to more a lot of vault trust issues, as Will pointed out. Um, and Norm really not understanding what well, I feel like he always figures out things just a little too late. Yeah. Um now is oh this is the um we do i think towards the end of the episode um after the rigged election uh they it gets announced by the new overseer betty that she's um initiating a resettling campaign so some will be moved into vault 32 to start anew while others will stay in their current vault um and and did it, am i remembering correctly both norm and check got moved into the old vault right um i, I can't recall no, if they no, 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 did because norm went in there and he saw yeah. the paint job 
Right, right. They both went. Yeah, I think that's. I can't remember if they got permanently resettled, but they did see Vault Thirty Two because, and to your point about figuring out things too late. Um, yes, between the time that they went, and you know, there was the whole cleanup of of the place, and so right. yeah, so that was. Yeah. So that doesn't even add to the said down with it was there was spray paint that said down with management, which right. is a hint at something that happens in the next episode. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For, definitely for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I I have to just say it, like I, I think I mentioned this last week. Anybody who's watching Fallout, do it in in groups of two. Because cool. these episodes just continue. <laughs> yeah. They really do. They yeah. really do. Don't, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you do one, two, three, I don't think you're going to have the full effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, they complement, yeah, these even numbered episodes like this, they definitely complement each other very, very well. And, and of course, and then, you know, that last little bit that, uh, the, regarding the trust issues and two, and, and, and given the rigged elections and, you know, we we still have the outstanding question what happened to you know to not to norm's mom but also her pit boy which is her little little computer unit on her wrist uh what happened to it seems like it was right. you know because it could lead to uh probably it's connected to you know down with management and some of these other these other issues as far as uh you know the, the vault dwellers um being the conspiracy surface. of it yeah. all. Yeah. yeah, the conspiracy of it all. Because yeah. um, he has been informed that overseer Betty and his father buried his mom. Mm-hmm. And she, when they buried her, she still had her pit boy with her on her wrist. Yeah. Now, we know that that pit boy was used to access um, the, the vault gate, the vault mm-hmm. entrance from the surface world that led to Vault 32's downfall. Um, and now for any listeners who are um, following along, I'm going to quickly, a quick discrepancy um, or a quick statement. Um, I'm so sorry if I get the vaults confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have them right. But, oh. you know, there's three of them. <laughs> yeah, no, you, 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 you're you spot on. You, you have okay. not slipped yet. Okay. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Closure was the word I was looking for. Um, but, all right, that brings us into episode six, The Trap, which we didn't get any of the ghoul in the previous episode. And we start immediately with a flashback. Um, the tagline of this episode is what happens when the ranchers have more power than the sheriff. Um, and honestly, maj- I want to say 75% of the ghouls storyline in this episode is all told through flashback. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. With, with good reason. And I, I can appreciate that because I didn't want to watch 20 minutes of him just being dragged through the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did not did not want to watch it. Yeah. Um, we we start with a Galaxy News update that is hosted by Cooper Howard in Vault Four, which ironically is the vault in present day that Lucy and Maximus ends up in. Coincidence? I think not. Yep. Um, and and basically he's just he's just pitching he's pitching quote unquote safety for the future in the vault with mm-hmm. Vault Tech. Purchase your residence today. Um, and, and then that leads us to some encounters with Bud Askins, a Bud Askins, which is a name that I, um, will forever remember. (laughs) (laughs) And, and this is that tie into the previous episode, but he, he tells, he tells Cooper time is the ultimate weapon management, Mm -hmm. so time management or something, um, But but what what do you think about Bud and some of these early scenes of the ghouls flashbacks that we're seeing? It really expanded the lore, I think, mm-hmm. uh, as far as just seeing how things were before the the, the bomb dropped and the war mm-hmm. started. Uh, and uh, so yeah, so I thought it was a good episode in that regard, just to to really flesh out um, the ghouls backstory and 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 really like. You know, we were all wondering. You know, we see, we see, saw he was a Western actor, and uh, you know, he had a wife, daughter, 
and and really see America as it was prior to the war and, and the McCarthyism that was their version of the McCarthy Red Scares, you know, in, in there in, in Hollywood and how that was all a folding and, and the, uh, you know, the vault tech and, and, and Bud Askins, well, like, you, like you said, <laughs> I'll never forget him, but also um, how, how the economy and, and the, and the, sort of military complex industrial complex is sort of unfolding in, in that alternate world uh and and, and who was you know and, and get into some of these deeper questions like who's really profiting from the the idea of of possibly bringing us to the brink of war and 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 and, and, and cooper talking with his wife about you know some of the selections as far as you know dogs being in the vaults and 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 how they were work. She was doing these jobs to sort of work their way up, you know, work their way into a, a better vault. <laughs> and, right. Yeah, and 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 also as as we get later in the episode too, and learning more about the uh, vault for uh, settlers, um, you know, when Maximus and Lucy you know, f- fall into it, um, you know, we we see a lot of the folks there who who are m- mutated from from the radiation and stuff from the war. So. You know, it, 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 you know, there's definitely like tie-in to to that, and and then to Cooper's um, discussion about when he was, you know, fighting the wars in Alaska, and, and some of the, you know, faulty equipment that they had, and um, you know, and it brings into question in some of the vaults. So it was it was a lot going on in this episode that I really really liked. Right, right. I I I from the get go was just always curious about him and his wife. Mm-hmm. Um, because they had teased it early line. I'm pretty sure in the first episode, right before the drop bomb drops, there was even a line that is said that I get I got the impression him and his wife weren't together at that moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, and so we're basically watching their relationship dissolve over this issue. yeah um and and him qu- starting to question um the the true nature of Voltec. Um, and then he gets he gets told by a friend of his um, or informed that Voltec has a fiduciary responsibility to make sure it doesn't work out. Mm-hmm. And um, and he gets given a card to go to a meeting, which has all McCarthyism all over it. Um, it's very good metaphor and allegory yeah. to to that era and that time. Um, they're doing a really good job of of the flashbacks being very period based, but yeah. still every something's a little off at the same time. Um, much like how present day it it feels like present day, yet mm-hmm. at the same time something's just a little bit off. Yeah, yeah. Or exactly. or like more is off. And but there's still this nostalgic apart. That that's what yeah. I was trying to say. More is off yeah. in present day, while there's this small bit of nostalgic, like oh my god, these yeah. these are actual people. Yeah. Um. So so yeah, I agree with you. Like overall, there's a lot to unfold about this, and I can appreciate the little little bread breadcrumbs. Um, and and I think all of the the escalation that has unfolded over the last six episodes between Barb and um, Barb and Cooper has just been great because we, we clearly see have seen their shared love for one another and mm-hmm. their daughter, mm-hmm. which, which there's a reference and he is definitely still searching for Janie. Yep. I was also wrong about Moldova, but <laughs> <laughs> Moldova, Moldaver. Um, but we we do get some connection. I was I was also not completely wrong to an extent. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right in the sense that someone from his time period made it, but it was just yeah, it right. Was just, Which it was somebody else. Well, but it was a connection. It was who he yeah. met at the meeting. So yeah, I and and you know, to going back to Bud, there's there's more people mm-hmm. from the past. Yeah. Than we even realize there are more people because time is ultimate weapon as long as you can manage it. And so it just took me right back. What what show do you think as soon as they brought up time, 
I, I was like, oh, I know what they're doing here. It's a very recent show, Will. Let's see, time, time. Um, Three Body Problem. Oh, yes, yes. The, the, he, he was uh, the... Oh, uh, yes, the, uh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, yeah. He, he was also trying to figure out a way that he could freeze himself, himself for yep. 400 years so he could meet the aliens. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert for a three-body problem. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, time. <laughs> um, so, so that I honestly first thought that popped in my head. I'm like, yeah. oh, that seems familiar. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, oh, yeah. What that, would that, you do? Totally, yeah. yeah. Um. All right, so so to go back to Ghoul and Moldaver, basically in present day, we end his his drug out journey mm -hmm. to where we meet Surreal, who has appointed himself a sheriff of sorts. Yep, um, and he has no. Yeah, he's yeah he's yeah he's yeah, yeah, he yeah. was yeah yeah he, he and Ghoul definitely have a history there for sure. Yeah yeah, and he's the sheriff and. He he heard about some of the stuff that the ghoul was getting into, wanted to lay down the law or at least like strut his stuff mm -hmm. in front of his dear old ghoulish friend. Um, and that's where we get the reference to Janie yep. or Barb. There is a chance he was talking about Barb too, because yep. Barb could have certainly gotten herself into one of the quote unquote good vaults. Good so vaults. yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll see in a very sad flashback that Janie's a lost cause, but he's still in the hunt for Barb. Yeah. So so yeah. um and then he turns and sees a a picture and it's Moldave Mold Moldaver. Mm -hmm. Um and and he he says, Wow, she 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 looks a bit or she's not as quite as I remember her. Or yeah. he says something along the lines of she She's a little bit different than when I first met her, and and it turns out he first meets her in in the flashback because she's what appears to be leading the meeting yeah. against Vault Tech. Yep. Um. So so very good parallel. Um. And so we're gonna start at the end of the Lucy Maximus <laughs> <laughs> because okay, I just want to say this. My one gripe is. As much as I appreciate this whole reveal sequence of both past surface level Mold Moldaver and the and Coop, and then present day Lucy in a weird cult, people are naked, people are drinking blood, or stuff is happening, yeah, yeah. ritual, and then they're basically praying to a portrait of Moldaver. The, the flame lady or a lady of flame or whatever. It just went on too long. They should have cut like a good two, three minutes. Like yeah. I was just like, I, because it, you know, it's too long when it doesn't take you till the end of the sequence to figure out what the reveal is. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it just, I halfway through, I was like, Oh, it's Moldaver. And, Oh, freaky! But I'm like, why are we still doing this? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> yeah. The tension was uh, definitely. I, I think they were trying to. It, it, it went too long because the tension they had built up kind of dissipated whenever it reveals. Exactly. Like, well, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Where it wasn't as shocking because you'd yeah. already figured it out and kind of moved on in your mind. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, what's the big deal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like, oh, okay, makes sense. Now you know, I was already start. I was already starting to like. For me, I was like, okay, now let's. I was moving on to the next episode. <laughs> as far right. as like, yeah, yeah. Instead of like being wowed by the reveal, it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was. I was sitting there like. So after they move, like reveal it's Moldaver, they're going to explain the nudity that's happening, right? We're going to get some kind yeah. of explanation yeah. because that was also unnecessary. I was very I, gratuitous. I did feel it was. I felt gratuitous. it was gratuitous. Yeah, I did yeah, feel it. Yeah. yeah, it just didn't feel like they had to go that far. Yeah. Um, and it was sad because the first half of this episode, or the first half of the Lucy and Maximus in Vault Four. I I loved because yeah. it felt like Guardians of the Galaxy. It did. And I know, like, I feel like way back when, when we saw the first trailer, I, I think I immediately said that comparison. 
I have not made that reference up until this episode, but that first half of these two in the vault and and them starting on opposites end of their perspective of what's really happening mm-hmm. to 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 like cross paths and move on the exact opposite ends by the end of the episode yeah. was really good. It was. It was. Um, and and you know what I for the first time Maximus made me a little bit proud because I would have stayed if they had given me a robe too. You know, like yeah. come on. They yeah. gave him a robe and slippers. Yeah. So he yeah. stayed. Cap- caviar? <laughs> got <laughs> yeah. he's got yeah, he's getting nice meals. Yeah, it's like oh it's, I'm living living like living life on the hog here. Yeah. It was really the cafeteria scene that yeah. did it for me, where I'm like, this is so Guardians. There's just something about it. I'm like, this, and it's not even Guardians. It's just the the first yeah. movie of Guardians, because yeah. I swear in that prison, there was a similar cafeteria scene. There's a, yeah, it had that vibe for sure, for sure. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so we're, when, so we're shown pretty early on that they're held in a cell called Test Subjects. And then that leads to Lucy realizing that everyone is deformed to an extent. Yeah. So yeah. what do you, so do you think it was just that um, the radiation, like their vault was broken and that led? Yeah. The, the, faulty, the, the faulty vaults, it goes to what Cooper, you know, with the whole vault tech and, and Bud Askins and, you know, whenever he was like, talking about his, with his, Military gear with the, I guess, the prior battle suits that they had back in the day. Um, you know, it, 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 to me, it was like, and, and, and also the bar, you know, mentioning to to Cooper how, you know, we want to get in the good vault, the management vault. And, and, and so basically, you know, these are all military contractors <laughs> and, and, you know, and sometimes you know the government contracting sometimes you know you go with the lowest bidder so some of the product is really really good some of it can be kind of you know kind of defective no. and so, yeah so really? i think that was tying all those that was tying all those things in together into a cohesive like through line with this with this particular episode as far and to me that that really made made this level episode go next level to me because they were pulling all these connections together yeah. See, I feel like there was also something said about scientists mm. and how a lot of them are scientists. And so I think to an extent, because when when Lucy inevitably goes to level 12, yeah. we 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 see a lot of mad science like mm. oh. experiments. Yep. We saw we saw yeah, the golfer, yeah. Uh, so several I, things. Yeah, I, I think to an extent you're right. But I also think they were playing at both sides of this, where it's also like when when scientists are yeah. in charge and their need to question and continue poking at things, yeah. like they're going to do that. I mean, one of the first scientists that we saw and met was Wilzig. Yeah. And yeah. there was something not right about him. <laughs> yeah, it, it, well, that lab, that was the Brotherhood lab. And, you know, one of the things we didn't mention in the prior episode was, um, you know, with Lucy basically talking to the, um, the then she talked to Maximus, like, you know, the Brotherhood's goal is to, like, get pre-war tech, you know, finding pre-war tech and, what was it, keep pre-war tech? I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was just basically... Um, you know, I, I I guess to your point, it's just like you know, everybody has. You know, there's some mixed agendas here, and I think even the vaults too. You know, going back to the very, you know, whenever we we learned that the, the, the you know, with the triad with the vaults. I mean, 31, 32, and thirty three. There there seems to be some social social engineering, and 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 you know, and and, and the whole breeding. You know, we were with Lucy in the very first episode, getting married off, you know, so they could be breeding stock. So, right. Yeah. So there's, there, you're spot on there that there is some experimentation going on here. Yeah. Like, um, and, and so what we also learn is that in Vault 4, 
there are a lot of surface mourn people because they there's this whole history which I'm sure if I actually took the time, I'm sure I could find the full timeline of Fallout. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. All <laughs> the games. Get confused. Yeah. <laughs> so so it, what is current year? What has happened? When did the bomb drop? And just how long things have happened? So it sounds like Reclamation Day did happen. And something you said to me, it happened far back enough that Maximus, as probably a four, what, a seven-year-old? Yeah, yeah. Was, was found in the rubbish, so, which indicates that he actually could have been born in a vault, so. Yeah. he could have been born in a vault, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it was the whole New California Republic, because, you know, they, they did, you know, at least he did see. Yep, that all flag. the yeah, the flag, you know, which we've been, we've seen the flag in like credits and other things throughout the series, and now we really get the full history of the New California Republic. And you know, it was like 2077, yeah, and, and then uh, that's when it fell. Um, and then uh, you know, they have the date of where they are now, so you know, on, on the chalkboard as far as when the event occurred, so. It was like I said, there was a lot. There was a lot of plot packed in the show, and you know, love it of listeners who played the game, you know, who, who could like fill in the gaps as far as some of the stuff because I never played it. Uh, you know, where this falls into, in, I guess, four previous games, five previous games, or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. There, there's yeah. a lot of games. There's yeah. a lot of games, and my bro- all my brother who has played some of the game, yeah. has said is that there's a lot of good Easter eggs. Yeah, sprinkled out, but he hasn't. He hasn't told me like, oh, they're following this trajectory or anything. It, it I get the impression that they're pulling from because there are so many ver- um, there are so many installments of this game, yeah. and it's never been a and it's more free form right. that that they're pulling bits and pieces from each of them. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah so, and this is only the beginning. Like, even yeah. though these two episodes did a lot, I still feel like we're just getting exposition. Yeah. It's just, it's a lot of history, a lot of like people taking shape, the past taking shape, us like getting oriented. And it, and it just, it continues very consistently, might I add you, mm-hmm. to just be, feel much more, much like a prologue. Yeah. And I think the real story unfolds in season two. Yeah, 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 and yeah, you're yeah, you're right. I mean, I think that that that's the case, and and really, you know, unlike The Last of Us, where it was a one to one adaptation of well, not one to one, but you know, it's an adaptation of the game itself, bringing it live action. This is just you know, this is the way the Fallout games have unfolded, which is their next chapters in in the larger in a larger story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to add in? I think I got hit all of the beats that I wanted to with Fallout. No, I, I, I no, I, I think we, we, um, I think we touched on everything in the in this episode. Um, both right. of them, like I said, they were they were really really good, and as you said earlier, do do them in bunches, folks, listeners. If you want to binge it, binge two at a time. 